I'm Mark, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. This afternoon I'm going to take you for a walk around a 2005 Holden Commodore VZ Executive sedan and uh, just show you some compelling reasons why you're looking at one of the better examples you'll ever see. Start at the front of the car and have a look at the front bar, the bonnet. Um, you can hardly detect a, a sewn chip or a mark on it, even when we come around to the front, front guard and as we scan down the side of the car. One thing to take note of, we have actually put alloy wheels on this car. A few minor scuff marks on the two right hand side alloys, but really good tyres on them. It just actually makes it look that little bit more attractive than just your standard steel wheels and uh, wheel trims. Um, as we scan down, um, a couple of minor cosmetic marks just on the black panel in between the two doors there. Um, apart from that, uh, fairly clean. Uh, in keeping with our Find the Batmobile theme, just keep an eye out for that while we're filming the video of the car. And then as we start making our way around towards the rear of the car, once again, it's just, I've got to say, it's a really clean example. Um, Colour-coded reverse sensors, the chrome badging standard through the boot lid. Have a look at the condition of the bumper bar and the actual boot itself, all in really good nick. Once again, really, I'd have to go that close to the car to even see a touch-up. Um, just the way, the way this car's been kept, not a, you know, struggle to even find a little dent on the car. Um, really impressed with the quality. Now, the left-hand side alloys, as I mentioned, that we added, uh, virtually unscuffed. Uh, just lifts the quality of the appearance of the exterior. And, you know, w worthwhile spending the extra money on the alloys, conditioning the quality of the outside of the car that you've just seen. Back around to the front of the car, just one thing I did notice. A couple of very minor little touch-ups there. I'm being super fussy now, but that's what we do when we prepare cars. We're super fussy. Now, under the bonnet, and uh, I love my Holdens, and, you know, being the 3.6 litre V6, it's going to deliver you 175 kilowatts of power, 320 newton metres of torque. At the same time, we'll give you 11.1 litres combined per 100 k's with a 75 litre fuel tank from factory you're going to get just a tick under 700 k's out of a tank of fuel. So certainly, uh, you know, fairly good economy, but you've certainly got the performance there as well. Round of the boot now, obviously two ways we can release the boot. The easiest one is off the remotes. Important to note, both factory keys. Uh, basically really large storage area, as you can see. I've dropped the middle of the second row seat, so in the event you need to store something fairly long, um, you've got the option there as well. Also, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that if you've got two passengers in the back. Nice little tray for their lunch and their drinks. Uh, access to the spare. We've just got our uh, cord there, which we lock up into the boot lid to take that right out of the way. You notice full-size spare. Tyre has never been on the car. It's a brand spanker. Brand spanking spare wheel. So the inside of the VZ you're going to find out shortly is as good as the outside. On our driver's armrest, we've got our controls for our exterior power mirrors. Then up next to the uh, aircon vent here, uh, headlight controls. They are auto headlights. Switch it to auto, leave it there for life. Basically detects as it's getting dark at night time, we'll turn them on for you and you're done. On our indicator stalk, factory cruise control settings. Uh, really simple operation for our cruise. Simple matter of activating the uh, cruise control and we just set it when we reach our desired speed. It's that easy. Uh, our steering wheel we'll put back into position here now. It is uh, tilt and reach adjustable. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy. Lock her away into position. On our uh, right hand side of our steering wheel, we've got our volume controls uh, for our stereo. And on our left hand side, our controls for changing stations or tracks on CD. And the mode just to switch between AM, FM and CD, as I mentioned. Trip computer in the middle of our dashboard. All of uh, the different information it feeds you about what the car's doing, distance to empty, average Ks and so on. And uh, of course you can set overspeed. Um, obviously the previous owner made a bit of an error there based on the overspeed setting. And you can also read out your speed digital as well as analog. Analog? I don't know, yeah. Anyway, we move on. Uh, air conditioning vents in the center here. All of our controls for our heating and cooling. Running at fan speed one, you can't even hear it in the car. Uh, Blaupunt CD player, AM, FM stereo, single disc stack, 
um, fairly straightforward setup. The VZs were a straightforward setup and super reliable car. Uh, four speed auto, just lock her away into auto. We've got a power and economy button there, which will tell you that it's in power shift mode or just in normal shift. Straightforward, once again, what goes wrong? Nothing. Handbrake just there in the middle. All of our uh, switches for our power windows. Isolate them so the kiddies can't use them. And then just an interior light button here as well. If we open up our console there, we've got an area to actually, believe it or not, that was designed for uh, CDs. And a 12 volt outlet in there as well. Little coin holders. So they can't be seen by the public eye if you've got any goldies in there. Scan around the interior once again, um, driver and passenger airbag, have a look at the door trims, the dash and everything. Um, you know, for a car that's 2005, in beautiful order. If I wanted to be, you know, once again, and I do do it, I'll be particular. Um, the actual, uh, the fabric on the back of the passenger seat is just a little bit loose, um, which is obviously just showing, just showing a bit of sign of uh, let's just call it a little bit of wear for now. Um, service books. Quite good to see that uh, a car of this age, service books are very good. I know there's probably only one, a little gap, where the 40k was done and whether they just made an error and didn't stamp between the 40... I think it was 46 and 78. Um, apart from that, every other service in the books is there. And then we've just carried out a current service on the vehicle as well. So overall, I would uh, rate those service books as a uh, 8.6 out of 10. So overall, um, no, I'm very happy with this car. I just bought my young bike a uh, VY and this car's, yeah, just as nice. No, oh, but it's done less case, but I won't tell him that. In summary, I hope this shows you that Honestly, this is one of the better examples you're going to see of a VZ Commodore. 11.1 .1 litres combined per 100 k's, 175 kilowatts, 320 newton metres of torque. It's got the power, it's got the economy. You can be sedate with the drive, save the fuel, um, but just look at the condition. I need you to just look at the condition again. In finishing, if you've got any further questions, feel free to give us a ring. 9907055